Let me show you five ways to zoom in, zoom out, and navigate your image in Photoshop. All right, so in Photoshop, when we talk about zooming in and out of an image, we're really talking about how much of the image we see on our screen, where this number up here, 50% in my case, represents the size of the image we see compared to the actual like print size of the image. The more we zoom in, the larger the image gets, and we can even go right into the pixels if we want. And for this image, that's at 12,800%. And then the more we zoom out, the smaller the image gets all the way down to basically nothing or like a little speck if you want at 0.1%. Now, when I first learned Photoshop, I used to zoom in and out like this. I'd go up to view and then I'd click on zoom in right here to zoom in and go to view and click on here to zoom out. That's not really that efficient. But if we do look in here, we can see that there's the little shortcuts that are beside it, the keyboard shortcuts. So zoom in is control plus, zoom out control minus, to fit it on the screen is control zero, and then 100% is control one. Now on a Mac, those are all command plus, command minus, command zero, and command one. So if I go command or control minus, you can see that's to zoom out, command or control plus to zoom in, command or control one to see it 100%, and command or control zero to fit it on the screen. But if you notice, when you use this method, it's zooming in and out to the center of the image. So to move around your image, you're gonna have to use these little sliders here on the side, this one up and down, this one left and right. You can hold the space bar to get the hand tool, which is also over here. If you hover over it, you can also select H. I'll show you the difference in a second. So hold the space bar to get the hand, and then you can move around your image that way. You can also, like I said, select the hand tool or select H. And the difference with that one is when you click, it's gonna zoom out and give you this box. So you can maneuver based on the scale that you're at where you want to see in the image. So when you let go, it'll then zoom into that spot. And you can also just scroll on your mouse to go up and down or hold control and scroll on your mouse to go left and right. Another way to zoom and navigate through your image is by using the zoom tool. So this magnifying glass right here or hitting Z on your keyboard. So if I click on that one, you can see it gives you some options to zoom in with the plus, zoom out with the minus. You can also click fit screen and fill screen here. To use it, all you have to do is left click on the part of the image that you wanna zoom into and it'll zoom in to that area right there. But you can also click and slide to the right if you wanna zoom in fast, or click and slide to the left if you wanna zoom out fast. Just know that if you're on another tool, like let's say the paintbrush tool, and you're trying to draw something on your image but it's too small, then instead of clicking over onto the magnifying glass, like the zoom tool, just hold Z, click and slide, it'll zoom into that area, and then you'll be back on the paintbrush as soon as you let go, to paint and do whatever you want on the image. And the same thing goes for the hand tool by either pushing H or space bar to maneuver to another part of the image. The fourth way to zoom and navigate through your image is by actually using the navigator tool right here. So if you click on that, you can see that it jumps out like this. You can scale it down if you need to, if it takes up too much space. If you don't see the navigator thing here, then go up to window and down to navigator and then it'll pop up right there. And this one's pretty easy. You're just clicking the mountain here to zoom out, the mountain here to zoom in, or you know, activate the little slider here. And you can see that if I'm zoomed all the way out, this red box is around the whole image. But as I zoom in, it tells you what part of the image that I'm zoomed into. And you can actually use the hand tool here to move to the part of the image that you want, or just click somewhere else and that box will move where you want it to be. And finally, the fifth and probably most convenient way to zoom in and out and navigate your image is by simply holding Alt or Option, and then wherever your cursor is, if you scroll up on your mouse, it's gonna zoom into that spot, and if you scroll down, it's gonna zoom out. Just remember that if you don't hold Alt or Option and you scroll, that's gonna move your image up and down, and if you hold Control and scroll with your mouse, it's gonna move it left and right. But there is a little secret that if you wanna make it even more convenient, all you have to do is go up to Edit, down to Preferences, over to Tools, and click this one off right here, zoom with scroll wheel. So now when we click OK, now you don't even have to hold Alt or Option. Wherever your cursor is and you scroll up, it's gonna zoom in and scroll down, it's gonna zoom out, regardless of what tool you're on. So you can be on any tool here 
And if you scroll in, it's gonna zoom in and scroll down, it's gonna zoom out. And that's pretty much it. That's five different ways to zoom in and out and navigate through your image in Photoshop. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.